I was quite surprised by the overall rating for its spring training Charlie Brown on IMDb because I watched this and I didn't love it. I didn't hate it. There were certainly positive things about it that I'll talk about in a moment, but it's got 7.1 out of 10 on IMDb. And I'm a, I'm a big fan of Charlie Brown and most of the cartoons I love, but this one I felt like they were leaning too much into the music and not really allowing it to retain much of the essence that makes Charlie Brown cute and quirky and meaningful. There were moments, and again, I will highlight those. Um, I won't, I might spoil something, so I'll give a spoiler warning if that's going to be the case. Um, but certainly I didn't love it that much. I feel like there was room for improvement. This was released in 1992, directed by Sam James, written by Charles M. Schultz, of course, and it's getting toward baseball season and they start doing spring training and Charlie Brown has been told that somebody will sponsor their team and get them uniforms if they win the first baseball game of the season. They've never won before. The odds of this happening are completely unlikely, but the team are desperate for these baseball uniforms as they have been I won't say previously there's at least one other cartoon that focuses on getting uniforms but I can't remember if it came before or after this but it's all about them training and getting the team together and seeing whether or not they'll win I'm not going to say what happens with that but at least not just now but that, is, that side of it is quite interesting. There are a lot of Charlie Brown cartoons that take place on the baseball field, uh, and I like it, and it's a nice setting. I like baseball. I like the setup. I love these children being passionate about something, and because they're all standing separately on their various pitches, it gives each character a chance to shine independently. Um, and we also have this wonderful character called Leland, um, who I'm not too familiar with as a character, and Leland... I will just say Leland is small but mighty, and Leland shows that small people can do big things. And that's a really lovely message there. We also have a great message about teamwork, and there's a, cro a quote from Charlie Brown, and I'll give you this quote because it doesn't actually spoil anything. The quote is, it's not how you look, it's how you play the game. And I think that that's brilliant. I think that's a lovely message, and it's one of the main messages in this. That doesn't actually spoil anything about the uniforms, interestingly. But I think that's a really good takeaway from this cartoon. So there are some nice things in it. And also they do the hokey cokey at one point, which amused me a lot. But the rest of the music, although fitting, the music seems appropriate. More than any other Charlie Brown cartoon that I've seen, it seemed to rely really heavily on the music. And the music seemed to overshadow everything. There were so many sequences with just music and no dialogue. And it's the cute, funny dialogue that makes Charlie Brown so unique. But there is just so much music in this and very, I don't say loud music, but it seems to overshadow everything else. And that's something about this that I feel did not work. It did not work very well at all. And it just made it feel quite different. Uh, and that aspect of it, I felt kind of let me down a little bit. So it's not perfect. I was surprised by that quite high rating, but that's not to say I didn't like it. The narrative is still quite cute. The messages are really sweet. If you're a fan of Charlie Brown and you haven't seen it, I'd say it's worth a watch. But if you've never seen Charlie Brown, don't start with this one, as it's not really a good example of the usual quality you can expect.